Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know to get started using CSS. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's do this. CSS. CSS is an acronym for Cascading Style Sheets. It's defined as a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of a document written in a markup language such as HTML. I stole that definition from Wikipedia. I like to think of building a website very similar to building a house. We need three things. Structure, style, and functionality. We can use HTML for structure. This would be like the skeleton, the frame of our house. With CSS, we can add styles such as colors, decorations, lighting. And with JavaScript, we can add functionality. In our house analogy, this would be similar to plumbing, heating, electricity. But in this video, we're going to focus on style. Now, to work with CSS, you'll need a text editor. I just so happen to be using VS Code. So let's jump over to that. Here we are within VS Code or some other text editor that you prefer. So you'll need an HTML document to work with. If you don't have one, just go to new file and then you can create one. Just make sure the extension ends with HTML. There are three ways in which we can apply CSS properties to HTML elements, inline, internal, or external. External works the best, especially if you have a large website. We'll need some sample text to work with. So let's create a title for this web page using a pair of h1 header tags. This is my website. And let's create maybe four paragraphs as well. So these are in pairs of p tags. And we'll need some sample text. If you need some sample text, type lorem and then tab to generate some sample text. So let's copy that line and paste it three additional times. Okay, there we go. So we can apply CSS inline so whatever element you would like to apply CSS properties to within the opening tag, you would set the style attribute equal to some CSS properties within quotes. Let's say that I would like to change the background color of my web page. So within the opening body element, I will set the style attribute equal to one or many CSS properties. Let's change the background color. So type background color colon and then end it with a semicolon. And then we will list either a color name like black. You can use RGB values and these come in groups of three. So black would be three zeros. So depending on what values you have here, this will change the color. Or there's hexadecimal values. Hexadecimal values are preceded with a hashtag and there are six digits that follow. So black is six zeros where white is six Fs. But you can always look up a color picker and then just copy the values after you find a color that you like. It's a lot easier. Perhaps we would like a black background. So I'll just keep this simple and use color names instead. But you can use RGB values and hexadecimal values. Okay, now I would like to make my H1 header tag white. So I will set the style attribute equal to the color property this time. Color is for the font color. Background color is for, well, the background color. So color, white. Now with our paragraph tags, let's apply more than one CSS property. So let's set the style equal to and list whatever properties you would like to apply within double quotes and then separate each with a semicolon. Uh, let's begin with the background color. Let's make this maybe gray. And let's change the color to what about white? Then I'm just going to copy the style attribute and paste it for each of these paragraphs. This is somewhat redundant, but there's an easier way of doing this with internal style sheets. To apply an internal style sheet within the head of your HTML document, you'll need a pair of style tags. Whatever element you would like to apply CSS properties to, you will list that element, for example, the body. Then follow that with a pair of curly braces. Then you will type the name of a CSS property like background color and set it to some value like black. And then we no longer need this style attribute. There we go. 
You may need to save and refresh. This time, let's apply CSS to the H1 header tag via an internal style sheet. Uh, so let's copy this value and get rid of it. Okay, this time we would like to change our h1 header tags. So list that here within our style element, h1, curly braces, list any CSS properties within the curly braces, color, white. And we'll do the same thing with our paragraph tags. So let's get rid of these. So type p, curly braces, and then we will paste the CSS properties. So you can apply more than one CSS property, just place them within the curly braces. So there we go. And you can see that this is a lot less redundant. Instead of making all of the changes inline, you can place them within an internal style sheet. Now the last method, which I think is the best method, is an external style sheet. So we will create a new CSS file. So I'm going to right click, go to new file. Let's name this style.css. I'm going to copy everything within my style element and then get rid of our style element tags. And within the style sheet, we will paste everything that we just copied. Now we just need to link our HTML file with our CSS file. And to do that within the head tag, we will type link rel equals REL is an attribute that names a relationship of the linked document to the current document. So REL will be style sheet, then set the href attribute equal to the relative file path of your CSS file. They're right next to each other. I only need to list the file name. There we go. We have applied CSS properties via an external style sheet. And this is the preferred way of doing things. So you can reuse this one style sheet for many different HTML pages. So let's say that we create a new HTML document like page2.html. By the way, if you need to generate the body of your HTML document, if you're using VS Code, you can type exclamation point and then tab. Let's create a really quick HTML document for page2. This is page2. And then I'll create two paragraphs, let's say. Okay, I'm going to open page two with live server and take a look. Page two does not have any CSS styling, but we can reuse the same CSS file. All we have to do is link our HTML file with our CSS file within the head element. I am just going to make that link. So this is really convenient. If you have to make any changes to your website, let's say that you need to make all of the pages on your website instead of the background color black, let's say maybe gray. Well, you can just make that change here, and that one change will apply to all of your HTML documents. So you only need to make that change in one place. That's why external style sheets are really useful. One unique feature of CSS is that we can target any specific element by ID or a class that they may be in. Any element that has these names will have these styles. But what if I would like maybe one of these paragraphs to have a different font color? I can give one of these paragraphs a unique ID. So within the opening tag, I will set the ID attribute equal to a unique identifier. Let's say P1 because it's well the first paragraph. So then to target that specific ID, I will type hashtag that ID. And let's set the color equal to what about tomato? Now for practice, let's give each of these a unique ID. Let's say P1, P2, P3, and P4. If we need to change P2's color to tomato, well then we target P2. What about P3? Just change the ID to P3 and then P4. So you can target a specific element by ID. You just have to be sure to fill out that ID attribute. Or you can target anything within the same class. A class is like a group. In this example, let's say that all odd numbered paragraphs should be red. All even numbered paragraphs should be blue. So I'm going to instead give these each a class. You can keep the IDs if you want to. Uh, so type class equals the first paragraph will be odd. Class odd. The second paragraph will be class even. 
then odd, then even. So to target elements by a class, you type dot the name of the class. So anything within the odd class, let's say we'll have a color of red. And I'm going to get rid of this tomato color. Our first paragraph is within the odd class. The same applies with our third paragraph. And then I would like to make any elements within the even class blue. Color, blue. So our second paragraph is blue and our fourth paragraph is blue. So yeah, everybody, that is a quick introduction to CSS. It means cascading style sheets. We can apply CSS properties in one of three ways, inline, internal, or external. In this series, we will be using external style sheets. So yeah, that's a quick introduction to CSS. If you found this video helpful, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.